This episode was brought to you by Ixius and her chosen charity, worldbuilders.org. Hello, members of the Pride, and welcome back to another episode of Pumpkin Days. All right, so we are going to, it's its early in the morning. Oh, we're, we're receiving tons of things in the mail here. Um, I want to check our seeds real quick, because we still have a couple of things that we haven't been able to buy yet. Problem is, nothing's open, so I think I'm, uh, it, it's not open yet, so I think I'm going to run over and check our mail. We've been getting a lot of things in the mail. So let's go check our mail. Um, and then we will run back and look at our seed situation and see if we can't maybe uh, get some more seeds so that we can fit, keep getting our quotas. Here's your pay. Whoa! <laughs> oh, baby! That is what I am talking about. Show me the money. Very nice. Obviously, early on, mining is the big deal. Uh, early, early game. You, you want to you you want to get your you want to get your mine going, and just start cranking that out. That that has just become obvious to me. Uh, hello, how are you, Bonita. Nicholas? Hello, Lion. I'm so glad it's raining today. When I don't have to water the flowers, I can work on making perfumes. Oh, well, that's cool. Can't go in yet. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ooh. <coughs> Goodness. It has been a, a very sneezy day. Um, I wonder if it's a if it's a high pollutant day today. There might be a lot of uh, a lot of pollution in the air. Um, so we need, I mean, we, we've got a lot of things we still need to get. Um, I don't remember if we found black beans yet or beets, uh, tomatoes were, were growing some more, but blackberries and corn, I don't think we've got them. So blackberries, corn, I don't remember if we have black beans or beets at all. So we need to, we, I mean, that, that needs to be a thing. We need to, we, we, we need to make that kind of a, a, a thing here. Um, oh my gosh, wait. All of a sudden I'm having allergy issues. Yuck. I'm sorry for sniffing in your ear. All right, how are you doing? Make sure you've had enough water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, buy and sell. Okay. Dang. Nothing new. Um, we'll go ahead and buy a couple more... Sugar beets. We've already got peppercorn. We got coffee. Yeah, we've got all this. <sighs> In fact, we probably have too many. Where are the blackberries? That's bothering me. We we don't have access to blackberries. We don't have um, access to corn. Are those not going to be available until, like, year two or something? I don't know. Ugh, my nose. My nose! Alright, uh, check, check. Aha! Yes, okay. So, grab, grab, grab all the barley! We have, we have much barley! We need the barley... Barley. Oh, oh, okay. These are not... Are those corn? I think those might be corn. I'm honestly not sure. Ugh, my nose. I am so sorry for scratching my nose in front of you guys. My nose is itchy. Oh my gosh, all of a sudden it's super itchy. Ah! Uh, but anyway. Alright, so we have 30 more barley. We need like a total of 100, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, whoa. Hey, stop freezing up on me. Uh, okay, so we need three, so let's just go over here, and grab this out, and eh. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. That way, we just click that, and click that, and click that. And we shouldn't have to water it, because it's raining, right? So, that's a, that's okay. And I think I'm also going to put the hoe in here. 
um, we're because we're not going fishing, and it's we. I so far we have not needed um, the shovel, but I mean we are going into a mine. So I I I want to keep the shovel just in case. Just in case is this going to get watered or what? Are you are you getting changing or what are you doing? Uh right. But other than that, we have we've got a good amount of food still. Oh, I was going to look up the bell pepper recipe. Tug on it. Um you know what? Uh, before we go anywhere, I think I am going to go see if I can find a bell pepper recipe just because I want to make sure I've got plenty of food for our trip here. Uh, so I'm going to stop the the episode real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, well, um, after looking for several minutes through the recipes that everyone has uh, currently discovered... I am not able to use those those bell peppers right now. Um, there, there's no like bell pepper soup or bell pepper juice or anything like that. Uh, so, um, and the recipes that require them are pretty complex. So, okay, cool, got the barley. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, right now looks like they're they're just selling fodder. Oh, my eyes are. I think I definitely am having an allergy day. This is, of, of course, I would have allergy day on my uh, <laughs> on my recording day, naturally. Uh, all right. Uh, how are you doing? If you need something built, talk to my boy. Yeah, whatever, dude. You're, you're lazy. We get it. Uh, okay. Windmill. We can now make a windmill. We don't have enough money. I have 2,800. Uh, that's a pity, because this will, would allow me to start making, like, all new stuff, so, that's a bummer. Fish grill? A bee box? <gasps> Gem polishing station! Nice! Okay, uh, so, gem polishing station. Uh, oh, and somebody said that I should get a storage said? I don't have the money. Uh, seed maker? I wonder if that's better than than what I have. I don't know. Um, we'll get it. Just because. We got the money. Um, a bee box? Let's do it. Uh, and let's do... Well, do we need to mess with the fish grills? I mean, there are fish. there's fish grill literally at every fishing station. So maybe let's not do that. But... Oh... Of course, I just spent all my money because I are not smart. I swear, lion. Oh, um, and somebody else said that I need to go to the cafe because the cafe has food that I can that I can buy. Oh gosh, my nose. I am so sorry guys. I hate being gross in front of you guys. I'm sorry. Uh how are you doing? If you like if you if I like space out on you, you gotta forgive me. Sometimes it's hard for me to like concentrate and stuff. It's alright, girl. I forgot to return this cas cassette to Hefe. Can you deliver it? Sure I can. Huh? All right, thanks. Boy, she really spaces out. All right. Um, so apparently there's like yeah, cinnamon cake. Everyone's saying that that cakes are like really good for energy. Uh, but I currently have a a energy okay, so I don't want to uh, mess with that. Somebody else said I need to buy coffee because. Um, when I, when I run out of, when I, when, it, when those little Z's start coming up, if I drink the coffee, it'll put off the Z's. So it's kind of a, an emergency button. Um, I, I don't know how long it, it, it'll, it'll put them off, but I think we'll just, we'll just go ahead and do that and we'll try it and see what happens. Uh, apparently it also gives back some energy. 
So, okay. Well, so thank you guys for the for, for the for the heads up about the cakes and the the different the, the cafe here. Uh, I didn't realize, dude. Oh, dude, business at the cafe is amazing when it rains, brah. Everyone, you, everyone usually stops by for some hot tea and coffee. Shaw, sure, bro. That's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, dude, let's, like, deliver to Hefe, okay? Uh, is he, like, here in junk? Yeah, he is. He's, like, in his blacksmith or something, some Muchas junk? Gracias. Hefe's wife makes the best food in all the island. You will take leftovers now. Okay, he gave me leftovers. Oh, <laughs> I got ice cream. Nice. Thank you, Jefe. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. No, I want to talk to him. How are you doing? Jefe has little time for con uh, conversation. Yes, he is. He is like that. Uh, gold, gold, gold. Hmm. You know, it's actually cheaper to just buy the gold bars than it is to buy the finished product. And then I can just make it, which totally makes sense. Hmm. Well, yeah, but we're going to be, uh, I mean, we, we, we've got a lot of um we, we got a lot of stuff that we can do uh so i'm gonna go place these down in my in my in my farm that way i will have them available a bee box do you think the bee box is anything like um like from Stardew Valley, the bee boxes in Stardew Valley, where you basically have to just surround them by flowers? I mean, that would make sense. Whoa, whoa, don't freeze up on me. Uh, <laughs> optimization, not done yet. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't see, there's no hands popping up, so. All right, um, let's see. Uh, let's do, how about we do, nope, there we go. Let's do the B box, maybe here. Um, oh, left. Well, no, because actually, now that I think about it, hmm, let's. Hmm. All right, you know what? Um. If the B box is anything like Stardew Valley, I'm thinking, oh, no, I'm thinking that it needs to be surrounded by flowers. So let's do that. Let's click on it. Collect. No honey. Ah. So I'll bet you that's what it is. I'll bet you we have to surround it with flowers. All right. We, we can, we can, we can try that. Uh, then let's put the seed maker right there. Process. Okay, so one... Oh, is this going to do all of them? Okay, only one. Oh, and it only does one. Well, then... I don't know. That seems a little... Eh? Right, no more. That seems a little meh to me. Because, I mean, I can... I can make my own faster than that. So that seems a little meh to me. I don't know. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and... Plant... These... Right there... Right there, right there, right there, and right there. And you know what? We'll, we'll just, well, 
Yeah, I mean, that's so much faster. I can just do that. I mean, I guess you could go and just put a bunch of... If you've got, like, hundreds of crops, you can just put them in there and go do something else. But, I don't know. That seems a little... That seems kind of meh to me. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's put the gem station right there. And, yeah, process. Okay, so we would just put unfinished gems in there and that would polish them. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board. All right, so now the question becomes, uh, let's go ahead and put the rest of our barley in there. We'll just put the rest of this there. Um, now the question becomes, and, and I've completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> I hate my memory. Oh, my memory. Um, no, you know what? No, you know what? We're fine. Um, but the question is, how many flowers do we need to, uh, uh, to make over here? Should I just, should I just build a flower garden around here? I mean, I, I mean, that can't hurt. We could always sell the flowers if this doesn't work. Let's go and gather up a bunch of... I mean, I, I, I don't really have enough time this episode to go on a major mining uh, trip. So maybe for this particular episode... You know, I haven't explored this way. I think for, this for the rest of this episode, we're going to go up here. And we're going to see what kind of new and interesting flowers we can gather up. And we'll just go back and we'll plant, we'll turn them all, well maybe not all of them, but we'll turn a bunch of them into seeds and plant them, and we'll see, we'll, we'll see what that does. Okay, so we're out in Lucky Pine Forest, where is, okay, so Lucky Pine Forest is this way, so we kind of want to go, let's head this direction, Pecan Peace Woods, Ro Rosa Bark Circle. So let's just kind of head this general direction. Let's keep an eye open for for flowers. Not seeing anything sparkly. Wow. Uh, so many flowers, no sparkly. Is this the wrong time of year for flowers? You know, I am noticing that I haven't really seen much in the way of flowers. Is that a glitch in the game? I mean, in the other thing, I wasn't seeing a bunch, uh, very much in the way of flowers either. Are flowers strictly springtime? I mean, whoa. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh, this game scares you sometimes. Uh, it's not optimized, so sometimes it's going to freeze up like that. Um... But yeah, I mean, I haven't... I mean, here we are. There should be... Some flowers to pick here. Do they only grow in spring? Yeah, I see no sparkly things in here at all. Huh. Okay, I'm... Heading, heading the wrong way, kind of. Not not badly the wrong way, but kind of heading the wrong way. I'm just kind of looking around. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sparklies. Which is an indication of flowers I can pick. And this is an enormous amount of flowers. If there's going to be sparklies to pick, it should be here. Hmm. So, 
So so maybe maybe flowers are strictly a spring thing. If that's the case, that's not quite believable. Um because while I mean while flowers are primarily springtime bloomers, not all flowers are springtime bloomers. There are there are flowers that that bloom in the fall, in the summer, even in the winter. So I'm a I'm I'm kinda bummed out about that. It could just be that what is this? I can't click on it, so I don't know what that is. Um I don't know, I'm a little bummed about that. Um I hope that that's just a glitch. That maybe it just hasn't been been implemented. But man, I hope not. I hope that's not the case. Cause if if flowers only bloom in the spring I mean, so much for people who want to do a flower uh, a flower farm. I mean, you're just out of luck. You, you don't get no flower farm. I hope that's not the case. Unless I'm just blind. I mean, I don't think I'm blind. I mean, are you guys seeing any sparkles? Because I'm not. In fact, I'm not seeing any foraging stuff at all. Oh, wow. Sunflowers. Oh, look at that. There's... Oh, that's so cool. Oh, sunflowers. And I can't pick any of them. All right, it, it's it's got to be either a glitch in the game, or, or 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 something of that nature. Another one of these things. It's a, another a, a, you know. Every time I come across one of these things, it's like I want to I want to see what's inside. I don't see anything inside there. So why is that there? I mean, I don't have an axe right now, and those things are stupidly hard to chop through anyway. So. Uh, I, it's not really a, a top priority for me right this moment, but hmm, I, I do wonder what's beyond them. <sighs> I mean, in the, the other one we saw when we came across one of those big root tangle things, uh, they were hiding pumpkins behind them. And I know that pumpkins are considered like like one of the best vegetables in the game. I mean, it's if, if not the best, best vegetable in the game, um, everything you make with, with pumpkins is like really, uh, like really high powered and that kind of thing. So can I get up this way? Is, is this the edge of the world? Am I at the edge of the world? Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. No, I'm not at the edge of the world. So, uh-oh. I am falling asleep. That is not good. I am falling asleep. And I don't want to use my coffee because I'm just exploring right now. I think I'm just going to head back to the farm and try to get some sleep so that I don't have to use my coffee. I, I want to save my coffee for mining expeditions so that... I Whoa! Oh, thank goodness there is no... <laughs> uh, no, I'm going the wrong way! Doggone it! How do I get out of here? These mountains are no joke. Good grief. They uh they really block your progress.
just a, a another aspect of a game that's just it's it's a little too it's a little too unforgiving to be labeled as a casual game. Um, I mean, you know, if if you want to make it a realistic, you know, simulator, then then fine, make it a realistic simulator. But um, I don't really think you can legitimately call this a casual game. Um, because really, that's that's the wrong word for it. This is this is not really all that casual. This to me seems more like a a, a more challenging farming simulator. Something I wouldn't I wouldn't go far as to say realistic, but uh, more realistic than than your typical casual experience. Um, because your typical casual experience. Um, you know, they, they, there's, they, they implement more quality of life things. They implement more, um, more leeway, more give and take. Um, so I don't know. I don't know that, that I would necessarily call this. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm in town. I don't want to be in town. I want to be at my farm because I'm starting to fall asleep here. Um, yeah, it's a, a, a little bit, I, I, I don't, I, I don't think I would classify this as a casual game. I just, I don't think it deserves that moniker. Um, it, it just, that, it, it's a little too unforgiving for that, in my opinion. Um, let's go over, ah, more stuff. And I think I've got time. I don't think I need to worry about passing out in my own front. Yeah, oh, well, I am starting to hit those Zs awfully hard. Okay, so let's just go ahead and sleep. Um, and it's 12 a.m., so you know what? Let's just sleep for six hours. Bring on the daytime. And we've got... Hello. Uh, I have more wheat. We need more wheat. And uh, we need more, or, well, <laughs> turns out the bell peppers aren't quite as, uh, as useful as all that. They're great for some, uh, some recipes, but, uh, they're all complex recipes. So, yeah, right now we're just going to use them as selling fodder. And we need to sell more wheat in order to get, the oh, wait, no, we don't. Wait, no, no, no. We want to hold on to this now because we have the windmill now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Um, and we need to start figuring out how to get a hold of... Uh, apparently, we need to get a hold of sugar and flour, uh, which I believe comes from sugar beets and wheat. Uh, and we need the windmill for that, and we need to make more money for that. So... Once again, we are... Man, that is really whopper jawed. I'm going to pick that up. And we're, we're going to place that better. Because that's really, like, wonky. But that's not good. E oh, oh, wait. Oh, stop that. Um, L. There we go. And tuck that into the corner. Bam. There we go. That's a lot more. And it's facing the wrong way. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But I found no... I found no... No flowers. That's a little disturbing. I am going to run, I think, over to... I've got a little bit more time left in this episode... We know for sure where some flowers are, and that's over by on our way to Clementine. We're always going by Clementine Mines, and so uh, we know for sure that there are flowers over there. More okay, another hundred and twenty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see, that puts us at nine hundred and ninety. Oh, that gives us enough money for no, no, it doesn't. Uh, no, we needed like what twelve hundred or something. I don't remember. 
But yes, thank you, Alarm. I appreciate you telling me that we're out of time. But okay, so always, 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 there's flowers here. We, we pass it all the time, we know. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what, there are just no flowers in the fo in that forest? Or is it maybe just glitched? There were an awful lot of flower patches out there and none of them were None of them were good? That's That's odd. I'm loving this summer, or, or this rain, I mean. Loving this summer. I'm loving the summer, too, but I'm loving the rain. Keeps uh, keeps uh, all the crops watered, and I don't have to worry about them so much. But, okay, we'll just take advantage, and we're going to gather up all these flowers. And we'll just plant ourselves a nice big patch of of flowers around our honey our, our bee box and see if maybe that'll that'll get us some honey um, i wonder if they have to be all the same kind of flower in the in now in um in stardew valley the 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 boxes all required the same flower um and a lot of people kind of got a little upset about that because it's like, flowers are flowers. But, I mean, I kind of get it. You kind of got, you know, there are such things as different flowered honeys. Uh, I mean, I myself just bought some sage honey because the honey was made with sage pollen that bees collected from sage herbs. So, it makes sense. I, I got that. Um, and it did specifically create that particular type of honey. Um, so I guess we'll find out, we're going to grab some more of these flowers here. I guess we'll find out, um, and see if in fact the type of flower will make a difference or if it's just honey is honey is honey is honey is honey. Um... Because I guess that'll just sort of depend on uh, what uh, what the developers decided to do. Um, and either way is perfectly fine. Now, I have run out of time in this episode, and I'm still picking stuff. <laughs> I can't help it. It's shiny. <laughs> Uh, and I just want to get a few more flowers. I want to make sure that... Oh, these are not flowers, but that's all right. I mean, we need... We need all this stuff, too. I am not using up any energy picking this up. Have you noticed that? Okay, so we have learned something important. Picking flowers and picking herbs and such does not use does not use energy that's good to know uh, nope nope uh, we're, 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 we're. we'll just pick these few and then we will go back um, and then um, we will plant them in the next episode um, because I am out of time I'll just basically end my episode as I'm walking back uh, to home so um, let me, whoop, let me grab and grab lavender. I do like lavender. Lavender's one of my favorite, one of my favorite scents and favorite flowers. So, oh, okay, so there's, I'm going to go ahead and utilize the, uh, oh, you know what? Okay, somebody told me. That in the... I have nothing to donate. Okay. So, somebody told me that if I can find out if there's anything that I need to donate here, simply by putting it in my inventory and bringing up the journal, clicking on that, and clicking on in the bag. 
and this will tell me if I have anything that I can donate from it. Otherwise, these tell me what's already been donated. Gotta say, I like that. Uh, that is that is very cool. So let me go ahead and just travel over to here, and I'm going to head back to my house and uh, start planting all of these. Uh, whoops, no, and start planting all these flowers. Uh, and in any case, guys, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do the liking and the subscribing and the commenting uh, down there. You guys are just brilliant, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars. <coughs> wow, that came out of nowhere. But it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on. Yeah, that uh, I usually use both hands there. I was I was one handing that so that I could continue running, you know, so I could keep you know pushing down on the button so that I could back get back down here. So I'm here. Yay. <laughs>